Just a few thoughts on global warming. And this video is not going to be about anything scientific because, as I said in one of my other videos, I can't add anything to the debate because I don't have enough knowledge or background to tell you anything about global warming. And most of us that listen to the global warming debate are only repeating some of the things that we hear. Occasionally, someone who is an authority will speak on global warming, but more than occasionally, most of the things that we hear about global warming are people from the political spectrum. And that's a must because nothing can be done about global warming unless it's done politically. But here's what I think is the problem. I heard this morning a well-known individual, a well-known politician, make a statement something like, well, we're going to get together, and uh, I think that, uh, that he believes that global warming is uh, something that needs to be addressed, and we are going to do this, and we are going to do that. Well, who are we? When you say we, that's narrowing it down to either we of a certain country, a big country, a little country. So what are you going to do if we decide that we are going to confront global warming and the rest of the world doesn't become part of the we? Then what do you do? Here's what I think. I think that the global warming debate is basically to convince people to conserve fuel. It's impossible to get anyone to uh, downsize in an automobile, but it's not impossible to get them to downsize if they're paying five or six dollars a gallon for gas. I can remember back when I was in the military, I think we were paying, oh, I don't know, at home, we were paying like 35 cents a gallon. And when I would get together with some of my friends, we would talk about the high fuel prices in Europe, especially England. And they drove small automobiles. And if you look at some of the videos on YouTube, the ones that are coming out of uh, some of the foreign countries, just look at the traffic in the background. You'll see small automobiles. Then you go to other countries and you look at the background traffic and you'll see huge automobiles. So... Who are we to confront global warming? When we say we, do we mean one specific country that thinks that they have a lock on clearing up global warming? Or is it the world? And what if the rest of the world doesn't chime in? Then what? So a lot of times when you say we, we means four or five different politicians getting together and making an announcement that they believe that global warming is a fact. And then someone will get up that doesn't say we, that has a lot of credentials behind his name that says this global warming debate is a farce. 
So I think until the politicians get away from the we statement and really come up with some concrete facts that are not debatable, the global warming debate is going to go around in circles. Well, that's my rant for today. Thank you very much. We'll see you. Bye-bye.